Tonight at 11, we're learning about that woman who was hit and killed over the weekend in Columbus. Police have now arrested the man accused of leaving Kyla Ortlieb for dead. Our Alan Carter spoke to her parents who say she was a woman who had a lot of life left to live. Looking at the pictures brings a smile to Marae Ortlieb's face. She wanted to pet a duck. <laughs> but in the same moment, brings tears to her eyes. It's just so many pictures. How does one choose? <laughs> you know, how can you choose? 21 years worth of moments from her daughter's life that sadly there won't be any more pictures of. I'm sad because I can't hold my daughter. And I'm angry. For the reason of why I can't hold my daughter. Life was just getting started for Kyla Ortlieb when it was ended Sunday night on her bike just coming home from work when police say Michael Winship plowed into her and kept going. Her parents' phone rang the next morning. Except it wasn't a dream. It just kept going. It is real. She was 21. It's tough. I would wish this on anybody. Outgoing, artistic, athletic, all words her family is using to describe her. Kyla Murray is one of the most kind, caring, helpful, person you could ever run into in life. Creative. Uh, everybody loved her. She was very stubborn, to say the least. <laughs> I'll say that if I were to say one thing, one word to describe her would be stubborn. Whoa. That's when you know the little brother is talking but they take that stubbornness back in a heartbeat instead of just being left with the pictures. One of these days, maybe, we'll stop crying. In North Vernon, Alan Carter, Channel 13. But today ain't that day. Eyewitness News. Arrangements for Kyla's funeral have been set for this Saturday in North Vernon. You can find the service times, the address, and more details on our website at WTHR.com.